Chlorobenzene is produced by bubbling chlorine gas to liquid benzene in the presence of ferric chloride catalyst. In an undesired side reaction, the product is further chlorinated to dichlorobenzene. And in a third reaction, the dichlorobenzene is chlorinated to trichlorobenzene. Now we are going to convert the output weight percent to moles percent using a basis of 100 grams of output. Okay, so now the weight of C6H6 from the periodic table is 78.11. And grams over moles would be equal to 0.832. We get our total here, which is 1.136. And we divide each one of our moles here by our total. So 0.832 over 1.136 times 100 will give us our mole percent of 73.2. And now that we have our mole percent, we can now sketch our flow chart. It's gonna look a little bit like this. And with our flow chart, we can do our degrees of freedom analysis. Degrees of freedom which in this case would be equal to four knowns, one and one and two and three and and four. So four knowns minus three atomic balances. So three atomic balances and minus one weight percent of CO2 in the feed. That would be equal to zero. So that means that our problem is solvable. Okay, so now we start writing our atomic balances. We're going to start with our C balance. C balance, we have N1 going in, and it has six carbons. So six N1 is equal to six we have six carbons in all of these, so six times 73.2, 25, 1.5. We can solve for N1 right here. So our N1 is going to be equal to 100 moles of C6H6. And now we move on to H. So we have six H going in times N1, which which is 100, so 6 times 100 is going to be equal to 6 hydrogens here, 6 hydrogens times 73.2 plus 500 hydrogens times 75. So now we can solve for N4 in this equation and our N4 is going to be equal to 28.9 moles there you go, of HCl, HCl. And now we are going to do our chlorine balance which is going to be equal to 2 and 2 going in 
we have two chlorines over here. So two and two is equal to 28.9 RN4, which has one chlorine. Put up here. So N4 has one chlorine, so 28.9, which is the same as N4, plus 25, because right here we only have one chlorine, plus two chlorines times 1.5. And we can solve for N2 in this equation. N2 is going to be equal to 28.9 moles of Cl2. Now we want to determine the excess benzene and the percentage by which benzene is fed in excess. And in order to do that, we first need to get the theoretical benzene which would be equal to 28.9 moles of Cl2 times the stoichiometric ratio of Cl2 and benzene, which is equal to one mole of benzene over one mole Cl2. And that is equal to 28.9 moles of C6H6. And now we calculate the excess percent by doing 100 minus 28.9 over 28.9 times 100. And that will give us our percent, which is 246. And now our fractional conversion is going to be 100 minus 73.2, which is what we got over here, over 100. And that is equal to our fractional conversion of 0.268 and now in order to get the yield we're going to do 25 moles of C6H5Cl over our 28.9 moles of C6H5Cl maximum and that will give us 0.865 and gas feed we need to find the gas feed and the liquid feed to finish this problem so gas is going to be equal to our 28.9 moles of CL2 is equal to 2091 grams of gas. And we get the liquid feed also. With this we can calculate the mass ratio of the gas feed to the liquid feed with these two, just by dividing the grams of gas over the grams of liquid. So 2091 over 7811 is going to be equal to our answer 0.268 grams of gas over grams of liquid. And that's it for this problem.